Hello, welcome back to Rogue Nation. Cat plays Bramble. We're fighting this holder. She kicked my butt the last time, so hopefully I can uh, get her in one go. Uh oh. Can I also hit that guy? No. What? Oh, my... I moved my microphone in the wrong spot. I can't see. Ha, <laughs> you missed. She gonna... Be cheap? Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna move my mic real quick. Stop laughing at me. Uh. Alright. Got a good feeling about this friend. One left, I think. Oh no. Ooh, run faster! Perfect. Haha. -ha. I win. Music starts playing. Alright, all you gotta be a little bit more enthusiastic here, not a leisurely little jaunt. I don't know what she's gonna do. Oh no, this is different. I like how the scenery changes. Alright. Alright, I gotta stay focused. Run faster, Ollie! I gotta stay in this area because there's a good, like, sight line to two of the bodies I gotta liberate. I like the aesthetic of this boss fight. Alright, is that it? Yes, it was. Haha. <laughs> Come on, Ollie, run faster. <laughs> he 
He's like, I don't want to get too tuckered out. I have no protection. I gotta do this fast. Uh, <laughs> Light beams. No, my one weakness. Got you. Haha. Come here. Oh, they, they didn't even show it. Oh wait. Now it's probably with me. I mean. She did attack, attack me first. So I don't feel as bad. I wonder if you can spare her. All right. Yeah, I wonder if you can spare her. I just noticed the achievement that popped up is the, the Swedish version of the name. I'm really curious if you could, like it's weird that they give you an option like to keep her progressing with the attacks or to keep attacking. Ola, what have you done? Tuva's voice called out to him. Did I just make the wrong choice? Was I supposed to save her or not save her but spare? Oh. I might have messed up. Going forward, we're gonna be a good bean. No more murdering. Is everything all burnt because of my choice? Was Tuva the blonde girl? Cause I was trying to think of like, who's Tuva.
Oh. That startled me. And this is getting a little weird. Where he's from? It looks like they were defending from something. so high up in the air. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of weird. Uh, left button? Left bumper. So was she trying to open that, or was she trying to hide it? Oh, I bet she was trying to get out of that chair. Is she a witch? And she was on trial or something? Is that? Are they zombie people? Skin. Intense. How do I? I need to find a way to get into that grass. We made it. Get up. Great. Oh no. They're like, oh, they got the bramble on them. And those are people they're eating. Casual, that casual, casual, very casual, nothing to see here, nothing to see here, just me walking. Look at hmm. Something's weird about this, this place. Why can't I open this door? Can I go in? Ooh. 
Oh, well, the door closed. Once there was a peaceful village near a great forest. One night, people began to see a beautiful woman with long dark hair lurking in the shadows during the full moon. Men started to follow her into the forest. Some of them never returned, and those who did had lost their minds. It sounds about right. I was wrong with the good fortune. The villagers had enough. Prediction. They took all the dark-haired women of a certain age and put them on trial for witchcraft. They started to execute them, hoping to find the right one. Yet men kept disappearing during full moon nights. The villagers grew more and more desperate and burned down a large area of the forest in the hope of finding this strange, beautiful woman. But, oh, but to no avail. The villagers had lost themselves. They killed their own mothers and daughters. They burned down more of the forest that had served them with resources. Then one night, when the moon shone at its brightest, five brave men took matters into their own hands. They put on their coats and walked into the burnt forest to hunt for the woman with the dark hair. After a time, they saw the beautiful woman standing in a clearing. The men were instantly enchanted and followed her deep into the forest's heart. She was a shapeshifter that mimicked what men wanted to see in order to lure them away. When they were close enough to touch her, she transformed into something monstrous. She ripped their chests open, hung them up in the trees, and drew strange powers from their still beating hearts. And no one would ever see them again. Hmm. So, was I not supposed to kill her, or was I supposed to kill her? I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Light. Little light. Looks like a little lighthouse. Why is the music getting weird? And there's like another one. Alright. What do we got going on here? Whoops, sorry guys. Do the birds alert them? Yep, yep. Yep, the birds alert. <laughs>